I don't know if I need to put that in there. You don't need to know my whole life. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Michelle and I wanted to make a different type of video today. One where I am introducing myself. I did one of these a long time ago, but I wanted to do an updated one. I thought for 2020, I wanted to do more vlog-like videos where you can see a day in my life. Um, uh, you can see my studio, um, me working in my studio. It, it's a mess down here. So uh, I'm just being real with you. It's, it's never like super clean in my studio. When I start working on something, I make a mess and I have to hit uh, I have to clean it up. <laughs> so I've got like a lot going on down here. I have ADHD really bad. And so I feel like I have like so much that I want to do all the time. And so you'll see like all the stuff I have in here. I have like, I think I'm an art hoarder. I admit it. I'm an art hoarder. I am an art supply hoarder. I just love getting new supplies. And I have things that I haven't even used. So I want to do like more uh, review videos of, of stuff that I have, like actually start using it more. I mean, I've used, I've like swatched stuff, but there's like things, there's watercolors I have barely used. There's um, pencils that I've hardly touched. So I'd like to start doing some reviews on them. So anyway, I wanted to make a change for 2020. I thought that doing vlog videos um, would be a nice change. I like watching other people's videos of uh, their life behind the scenes as artists. Um, I just love that. I'm just nosy. So maybe you guys, you know, there's, you guys are nosy too and would like to see what's going on behind my, you know, behind the scenes um, in my life. I'm going to uh, show you around my studio. So let's get started. Let's see. First... This is the main area that I work in. This is just a kitchen table that I bought off someone. Got all my stuff underneath. Um, so I have my laptop here and I'll put a, a photo on of like what I'm painting. And then I've got the mon a larger monitor with better color uh, that, I that I've got an HDMI cord connected to. So it's just a double screen. I use it to edit videos as well. So I have this little cube thing here that uh, I've got like my oil painting stuff in here. These are my oils. And I've got some of my watercolor things in here. And this is where I put my phone in this little contraption. I think this is a mic, a mic thing. And that's what it was initially for. But I bought this little contraption here that you put your cell phone in and then you can film down. Okay, so I made this. This used to hold scissors that made like decorative edges. And, and I I uh, used to do that for scrapbooking. I don't really scrapbook anymore. So anyway, these are just cans that I saved and I just put some scrapbook paper on them, put my colored pencils inside, just kind of in color families and I have all my colored pencils right there. I love that. Um, here's my um, very fancy sheets I've got on the wall to cover the insulation. You see one's sneaking, one's peeking out, the insulation is. Uh, so I just have my printer over here, swatches of my oil paints. And right here, I think I've shown this on my channel before. Well, here's my easel. But this is just um, a cart that's got all of my... It doesn't have all my art supplies, but it has some of my art supplies in it. Like my graphite, my uh, pastel tools, my soft pastels, the, the pencils mostly, and uh, my ink tents, miscellaneous thing, my gouache. My acrylics I barely use. This is a bookcase that my dad built back before I was born. I was born in 74, so we lived on a farm back then, but a tornado came and blew it away. But he built this by hand, and it used to be brown, 
and I kept it. It survived the tornado. The tornado came through and like tore our whole roof off and uh, destroyed our home. So um, this made it through and I kept it and I painted it white and then I got these little bins from Dollar Tree. Look at them. They're a little flimsy. Oh, oops. They're a little flimsy, but they're so cute. And I have a lot of my art supplies in here, but water my watercolor things in here. Uh, got paper in this one. Got some um, little canvases, small canvases in here. These are all my oops, these are all my aerosols, so. Oh. Here we have my sewing center. I don't sew a lot, but I like to have it just in case. Here's my big old palette. This is the New Wave palette. I call it my Bob Ross palette, but it's it's by New Wave. I really love it. Speaking of, here's my Bob Ross wig. If you guys watched my video where I had this wig on for Halloween, uh, I thought it was pretty funny. And this is what I bake my uh, polymer clay in. It's a toaster oven. And here's some of my sketchbooks. You know, I don't use sketchbooks that much. Uh, this table is actually a drafting table. And um, I don't use it for that very often. I, I mainly, uh, I come over here and sometimes draw or I've got my my lamp on here. I used this used to be my main desk, but the my main desk now is this big one. That's where I like to work at. My lighting is better over there. But this light, it's got a magnifier on it. And when I do like colored pencil, I'll use it. Here's a look, a little house I made out of clay. I never painted it, but I thought it was kind of cool. Um my Alexa. So this just has a drawer in it. I just usually just put miscellaneous junk down in there. That looks like Kool-Aid, but it's not. It's from watercolor. <laughs> I just need to empty it. And then I have a, this dresser that I recently brought down here. Um, I painted it and I have a lot of my art supplies in there. And I have my Cricut on here, my uh, Cricut Easy Press, and then my Canon printer. And then... Just in here, I've just got like stuff for my Cricut, the vinyl, some paper, more vinyl down in there. And then just over here is just stuff for my printer paper. There's, there's some, some of these drawers are, are junk drawers. <laughs> All right, and then here, this is a new addition. This is my standing desk. I don't stand at it very often. I've actually I've got a, a chair here, a really tall chair. I just got this credenza from my niece. Thank you, Tara. And I, uh, I'm i going to do my bullet journaling here. I just started bullet journaling and um, I really love it. So this is where I'm going to try to be organized. Look at my floor. I mean, before was beautifully colored before we moved in. But here's my card. I keep all my oil paints on it. So I have like a ton. I won these at an auction. Um, I didn't pay. I think I paid like 200, but there's like a ton of paint in it. And it was very good deal. Here is my new easel. I love it. And a new painting I'm working on. And then lastly, let's see, there's a couple paintings that are, that bird's finished, that other eagle I haven't finished. Um, this is where I keep some of my canvases and these drawers have this big thing. Oh gosh, this big thing with the curtain on it. it it's supposed to be for, so you can do like a green screen. Let's see but I just have curtains on it right now and sometimes I'll close them when I'm uh, filming so that there's just a blank background. Okay, so these drawers, it's gonna be hard to see. These have my polymer clay in it. So 
I have a lot of it, and I really would like to get back to using it again. There's some more polymer clay things. More things to go with the little rollers for it. Glitter. Got lots of glitter. Um, here's just miscellaneous wood pieces. My glue gun. More kind of miscellaneous things. This is stuff that I use for my. Um, what the heck is that stuff called? Resin. It's resin. This is when I uh, make like little jewelry pieces, which I haven't done very often. I just have to try everything. And uh, here's just some paper. A swatch from my colors. Like paper. I'm not going to try to open the one at the bottom, but it just has a bunch of junk in it. But here, here's my studio. I'm kind of move this so you can see it a little better. Here, here's my studio. So it's in a, just a room back in the corner of my basement. And I really love it. I mean, I, I can come down here and I have to really watch myself because I might stay down too long. I do have a family I have to tend to. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.